today. Logarithm. As you can see, it's a little bit advanced logarithm I'm going to do. This is applicable for the type of examination you are facing. So, this logarithm will work. What will actually happen in this kind of logarithm? I will be mainly focusing on some advanced type of problems and how to solve it within very short span of time for the MCQ examination. Okay? And uh, the first problem, before going to the first problem, I am giving you some unusual formula, introduction, shortcuts, structures, and then in the second half of the video, we will be focusing on the parts. Okay, sums. The first is some special shortcuts for the log. As I'm presuming you know the basic law, how to do the x to the power n thing. So, if I say log x, so what is the restriction on x? x has to be greater than 0. Even x equal to 0 is impossible. Okay? So first, log value must be positive. But, can log x value be less than 0? Yes, it is possible if x lies between 0 to 1. Okay, this is the first part. Second, with respect to log is log x base a. What is this base? If this base between lies between 0 less a less 1, if this particular base lies between 0 less a less 1, then it is called a decreasing function. Then it is called a decreasing function. And if so it's a decreasing function, and if a greater than 1, then the log becomes increasing function. Two very important things. Log x base a, 0 less a less 1 and a greater than 1. Okay. There are many unusual things I will be doing. So, get a break and if you are not getting these parts, pause the video and you see and then restart it. Okay. So now, the next part is the part where the log is whether greater than x or less than x okay for example log x base a for example log x base a and log y base a this will be greater than if x greater than y very basic logic simple logic and if x less than y then this will also be greater than so if the base is same it depends on the value powers Next part is what happens if the base lies between 0 to 1. Okay. So in this case, if this will be valid if x greater than y, if x greater than y and 0 less a less 1, but log x less than log y, if a greater than 1. So this one is a very crucial part. These two parts are very important. So the base is the decider. The base is the decider. Okay. Next part with respect to another advanced part is when what happens if log x and x tends to infinity? What will be the value? the value is infinity. Why? Because you see log 1 we know 0, log 10 is 1, log 100 is 2, log 1000 is 3. In that way we are increasing if the base is 10. So we, with respect to the values are increasing, these values are increasing. So if we put log 10 is infinity, this is also 10 is to infinity. Okay, so log has an increasing pattern base. So now, as we are okay with the relatively uh, patterns of the basic, now let me start with some of the advanced part and the logarithmic inequalities. For example, if log b base a greater than or equal to log c base a, then b less than or equal to c. Log b base a greater than or equal to log c base a, then b greater than or equal to c. This is one part, okay. 
uh, sorry, this B is less than or equal to C. This part is very important with respect to log inequalities. Okay. Now let's start with some question, and then I will come to some of the more advanced parts of logarithm. The first question I chosen for this video is a simple solution-based problem that is log 8x minus 3 log of 8x minus 3 now what is 8x? 8x can be any value 8x can be any value there is no restriction minus log 4 base x equal to 2 find x this is the first question in the advanced questions there will be 4 options given let me try that you try doing out the options I am giving you 2-3 minutes, you just pause the video, try it. Okay. Now, how to solve it? As we know, this is both our log at the same base. So we can start with this kind of structure like log 8x minus 3 by 4 and both will be a base and it will be 2. And then in the very next case, one new formula, I am again introducing, as I said, in between the problems I will be introducing the log x base a equal to y then x equal to a to the power y. This base becomes a base of this y. This base of log becomes a base of this and y goes up and the y goes up. So this is the process I have to follow. Okay. So now you can see we can write 8x minus 3 by 4 equal to 2 to the power x. So that is 8x minus 3 equal to 4 into 2 to the power x. Now here you can see now here you can see a very special type of uh, structure has been created and where uh, the basic pattern is, uh, sorry this is x square and the basic pattern is it becomes a quadratic, it, it becomes a quadratic, okay. So now you can solve this quadratic very easily, 4x square minus 8x plus 3 and this is 4x square minus 6x. <coughs> minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0 so you can take 2x common, 2x minus 3, minus 1 common and 2x minus 3 so this will give you two possible values x equal to half and x equal to 3 by 2 so these are the two possible values of log as I can say log value is always positive so in this case these two values both are acceptable for this kind of a problem okay so now we are going to a little bit different kind of a problem now Okay, but I ask you to find a value of a logical log. Let's do this. This one is your challenging question. Okay, so question number two. You have an expression given that is log 1 base 10. Log 1 base 10, log 10 base 10. And then in this way it goes on and on. Okay, log 1 base 10, log 2 base 10, log, sorry, log 10 base 10, log 100 base 10 and then log of, now if you are calculating the number of zeros then I am telling you there are 10 zeros, okay. So now you have to find the value of the log, so what will be the value of the log? Okay, you know the process, you know how to do it, just give it a try that how you are going to solve the law. There is a simple process and I am going to ask you to do it by that way only. See, log 1 base 10, log 1 with any value is 0. Log 10 base 10 is 1 as this, this same. Log 100 is nothing but 10 square base 10. So that will be 2. Log 100 is log 10 square base 10 2 log 10 base 10 that is 2 only you get the logic it's very easy so here I am replacing this value with 2 so obviously 3 in that way if we go this value is as I said 10 to the power 10 so this will be simply 10 so now the sum becomes so easy what else? 1 to 10 you know the process n into n plus 1 by 2 so that is 10 into 11 by 2 which will give you 55 so a big problem can be solved utilizing two different formulas in segments ok now focus on this problem please focus on this problem 
and uh, you will find it that you have to catch the structure. Okay, so very much focusing is very much needed for this kind of problems and then all you have to do is to put the values and your job is done within a one or two seconds of time. Okay, so this is a very basic type of thing although uh, advanced process or thinking capacity is required to solve this kind of a law. Now, I am proceeding to some other questions. These questions will be based on the idea of law but in a different way. Let's do this sum. Log of xy by n, xy whole square by n and in this way it goes on. For example, question number 3 log of xy by 2 so it is actually nothing but log of x minus log of y by 2 then log of xy whole square by 4 in this way it goes on and on so where it ends we don't know but if we, they are given sum up to n series sum till find sum till n so the last value will be like in this pattern how to solve it? see before solving this kind of a problem we have to get the idea of the question and the idea is log of x y these values are same and it is increasing as 2 square 1 to the 2 root 2 square 2 to the power 3 in that way so somehow it is correlated with the structure or the pattern but how to do this kind of problem without extending the problem much how to do this kind of problem without extending this kind of problem much so your basic idea is to take the power as the base to take the power as the base and then you will be able to solve it very easily so for example if the powers are coming down log of xy base 2 plus ok so as everything is in plus so we can put it as a multiplication as log a plus log b equal to log of ab log a plus log b equal to log of ab so here we can do it like this log of xy by 2 then it is 2 log of xy by 4 then 3 log of xy by 8 and this way the base next time what we are going to do is log of xy by log 2 then 2 log of xy by log 4 which is nothing but 2 log 2 then again 3 log of xy by log 8 which is nothing but log 8 is log of 2 cube so 3 log 2 in that way it goes on so everything is cancelled out and you can take the log 2 form so what we can get here so log a log b log c dot 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 so log a log b log c is coming so here we can directly put it into the structure you can directly put it into the structure and take it as a base that is log 2 base xy xy dot 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 xy till in terms ok so now xy 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 to the n terms so which can be written as xy equal to the power n and that is n log 2 base of xy so this is all about the basic structure of law in the next videos I will be giving you most of the new type of sums and uh, remember to visit our website www.shortcellclasses.com and also subscribe if you want to get some of the more videos. Thanks a lot.